uh, hailed an American statesman. Former U.S. Senator and Indianapolis Mayor Dick Lugar now lies in repose at the State House. People from across the country have come to pay their last respects. State House Bureau Chief David Williams joins us now live inside the State House. David. Right here behind me is where people have come to say their last respects and say goodbye to Senator Richard Luger. He will lie in repose right here until around noon tomorrow. In fact, you can see some people saying goodbye and paying their last respects right now. Just a few hours ago, you could see and feel the emotion here in the State House. It's written on the faces of Senator Richard Luger's family, friends, and colleagues as his flag draped casket slowly moved into the State House. It's hard. I really miss him. Jamie Spitz came all the way from Washington, D.C. to say goodbye. She works at the Luger Center in D.C. I had a wonderful opportunity to see him every day. He was always very kind. You could hear a pin drop and see the tears fall as his casket was laid in the State House rotunda. His was quite a life. May our journeys be just as meaningful and fulfilling. Welcome home, Senator Luger. Welcome home. Opportunity. Former Indianapolis Mayor Richard Dick Luger was a longtime Republican U.S. Senator who served in the U.S. Senate from 1977 until 2013. While on Capitol Hill, Luger helped spur the dismantling of thousands of former Soviet nuclear weapons. He fought hatred. He did not court it. He calmed fear. He did not attempt to use it. He extinguished violence. He did not countenance it. Keith Luce traveled from Maryland to pay his last respects. He worked for Senator Luger for 25 years. To him, public service uh, was a matter of truthfulness, a matter of follow through, a matter of caring uh, for all people. Senator Luger was 87 when he passed on April 28th. If you'd like to come to the State House, you can. The public viewing ends at 8.51 tonight and picks back up again at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, where it will run around 11 o'clock or noon tomorrow. Reporting live inside the State House, I'm David Williams, Wish TV News 8. David, thank you. And Luger's funeral is tomorrow at St. Luke's United Methodist in Indianapolis. Vice President and former Indiana Governor Mike Pence will deliver a eulogy. We'll have special coverage beginning at noon right here on Wish TV.